hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old there thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop before any further i do let's get started so go to your file select new and i'm going to use a5 paper size then under print then you will see a5 then click okay before then change it to inches and leave your resolution at 300 here is our working background and now i'm going to select my background resource so then this one is the first image i'm going to use so after now what i'm going to do now then i'm going to select the second one then i'm place it around here then drag it up all right then change the blending mode to soft light then apply your blur and i'm going to use 8.6 so for the first one, I'm going to use 8.8, .8. then come back to the second image, go to your blur again, Gaussian blur. So on this one, I'm going to use 8.6, then you click OK. Then import this worship image drag it down drag it down somewhere around here then change the blending mode to soft light bring it down a little okay I think here should be okay then if we need to adjust it then we'll do it later and I'm going to import this image reduce the size then position it somewhere here then go back and import this one then I will increase this one Okay, think like this, it will be okay. Then, uh, all right, leave it like this. Then come over here to import the third one. Then reduce the size. Then I will take it and position it over here. Drag it back. Then reposition it properly. The way you want it to be then adjust this one by increasing it a little okay now I'm going to select the three image, right click and merge it together. Then go to your image and apply brightness. Then leave it like this, 49 and 13 okay now apply your layer mask and blend it all right reduce the size
Now you can see that I centralized the image, then import this image over here and drag it up. All right, then go to your blur, Gaussian blur, and apply 2.6. Click OK. Then change your blending mode to screen. So now we are going to apply our test. So this is my background. So before then, I'm going to apply this camera raw filter. So the temperature I'm going to use minus 50. And the tint I'm going to use plus 16. Then click OK. So having done this one now, we are going to our test. So, and here are the fonts I'm going to use in this tutorial. And the test I'm going to use. So Ctrl plus C to copy your test. Select your test tool or press T using the keyboard. Then before then I'm going to apply my church logo. Then remove the background. Ctrl plus D to deselect. Reduce the size of the image. Then position it where you want it to be. I will leave it over here. Now I'm going to paste my test control plus v to paste then bring it over here to be closer to the logo then apply drop shadow Then my blending mode is going to be multiplied and the opacity 100%. Then the distance I'm going to make use of 9. And the size is going to be 4. I mean the size is going to be 6. So don't worry about this one. Then duplicate. Then copy your test, Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste, and I'm going to change the font to Apalu. Increase the font size, and now centralize it. Then apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then click on your present. Apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Highlight it. Ctrl plus A. Then come over to your test and copy it. Ctrl plus C to copy. And Ctrl plus V to paste. And here is the color code. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. 
increase the font size So you can see the way I'm adjusting the image now and the worship background. Now I'm going to apply my layer style inferts. Click OK. Then go to Drop Shadow and I'm going to remove the Drop Shadow. I mean the contour in the Drop Shadow. So now you can see that I'm going to make change to the first one I did. Instead of 9, I put 4 there. So I made a correction now and I removed the contour. So I'm making the adjustment now, as you can see. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Highlight it. And I'm going to change the font to 22 September. Then go to your tests. Then change the font to white. And I'm going to copy this test here. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Drag it to the center here. And increase the font size. All right. Then position this one and drag it up to be above the test then. Then you can adjust the way you want it to be. Then now I'm going to remove the character spacing and increase the font size then on this test now i'm going to apply a gradient overlay color also a bevel smooth then and you can see the depth there i'm using 1000 then the size then use this setting you are seeing here then and the contour this is the one i'm using now come over to gradient overlay and this is the color i'm using so you can see the Hence, code here. Then come over to this shadow. Then change the size to 24. Then click OK. Now group it, Ctrl plus G to group it 
apply vertical alignment control plus D to deselect. Increase it a little. All right. Okay, this is nice. So, what we are going to do now, select your rent angle to then you draw a rent angle here. Then use this color here. So, and this is the color code. So now I'm going to turn this link off. And I'm going to apply a corner shape at the edge and the top edge here. Something like this. Why I'm going to copy their names. Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test to then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now change the font color to black and change the font. Then I'm going to use Acrobat for the font and make it bold. Reduce the font size and place it in your rectangle right here. Then increase the test size now I'm going to remove the character spacing to 0% adjust the size then I'm going to select this one and group it Control plus G to group so this is the name then I'm going to adjust it to position it where I want it to be. Now Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. So do the same thing to the rest. okay so we are done on the names now no so we are going over to the dates now and i'm going to select the icon for dates then change the background to white so zoom in to see how it will look then increase the size The control project to duplicates. Then reduce the font size. Increase the font size. Always remember to zoom in and zoom out so that you can see the outcome of your work so what i did is to change the boldness of the font from bold to semi-bold 
control project to duplicate then you bring this icon sorry if i'm too fast here then duplicate this one control plus j so and this is the time I'm going to leave it like this okay then control plus J G to group it so this is our date and time now I'm going to get the location from here reduce the size Ctrl plus U for hue and saturation. Change the background to white. Now come over here to copy your test. And Ctrl plus V to paste. Okay, then bring this one more closer. Then Ctrl plus G to group it. Location, Ctrl plus 8, then apply vertical alignment, then Ctrl plus D to deselect. So, that is it. So, we are done with that one now apply your adjustment to the design all right ctrl plus a to apply your vertical alignment and ctrl plus d to deselect and i'm going to draw a rent angle over here Then use the same color code here. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. All right. So the next thing we are going to do now then apply your adjustments then i'm going to type a letter here so draw your rent angle change the color to red then select your test tool and i'm going to type the word off here change the font to acrobat then make it bold or semi bold any one then change the font color to white then go to your drop shadow reduce it to 6 then remove the contour then the background shadow is too much so i'm going to reduce it the distance okay so this is the distance is two then position your test over here okay
to apply your light flare here then change the blend mode to screen now we drag it down increase it all right so we have come to an end of this tutorial thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe then turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my video i'm so appreciate of you all and i'm grateful to every one of you thank you so much